I just reset my computer, and that's because I'm going to be putting my laptop to the test to see how much FPS I get with certain boost methods. And it may not look like it with all these apps, but uh, if I go into my task manager, <laughs> there's 217 process. So the games we're going to be benchmarking is 1.8.9 Minecraft, Modern Minecraft, Roblox, and Fortnite. And I know these are pretty basic, but like... Freaking Minecraft each. All right, so we are in Mine Men, and um, well, we're starting off with 120 FPS. That's great. So in the lobby, you're getting around 600 wow. FPS. So uh, we're in the first game, and wait, what? I just saw a thousand FPS. Oh my God, why is he placing endstone? What? Fine, I'm literally bypassing this. So I am recording this in OBS at 60 FPS, just so you guys know. Yeah, you can stop that, and you can go on the board. And with that, 1.8.9 Minecraft average at 800 FPS without any optimizations but what does this exactly mean for vanilla minecraft starting off with how long it takes to launch which surprisingly was pretty fast so the settings we're going to be using are just fancy i don't know what these do smooth lighting on render distance 8 we got the fancy stuff on all the particles but how long does world generation take it flew past that okay again this is default everything what? Wait, 300 FPS. If I load chunks in, if I like speed up, ooh, it's stuttering a bit. Right, so the way I'm going to be benchmarking Roblox is I guess going into like a game that like shows your FPS, like this one. And I've created a private service and oh my God, there's music. Uh, ignore my skin, ignore the fact that I'm stuck. We are on the max graphics, as you guys can see. It's doing okay. Oh, it's stuttering. Okay, never mind. Probably the one billion services in the background. Running and stopping all the time. Yeah, there we go. It's stuttering again. Uh -huh, it's Fortnite time. Anyways, here are our settings, guys. Um, let's put that into unlimited. How do I do that? Uh, I guess put everything to like default. This is what the default is. So we're going to leave it on that. Oh, we do need to show FPS though. Let's turn that on. Ages. Oh, so how do I Fortnite? What? Okay, let's just look up into the sky and we are getting 250 frames. What is this? Select a rating. One, two, three, four, five. What about Alt F4? Yeah, that's what I thought. With all the benchmarks done with no optimizations, it was running decent, but stutters were very annoying in some games. And on top of that, Windows felt very slow to respond and in general just felt sluggish. So let's hope the next optimization method will work. And that's by going right to YouTube. That's right. And I'm going to pretend like I'm an eight-year-old go ah, I need more frames how to get more FPS so there were a lot of shorts and videos to go through so I'm just gonna time-lapse this I think we're actually getting a little bit more pretty sure when I was standing here I was getting like 700 frames uh we're getting the same I mean maybe if we join a game it's gonna be different I don't know no it's the same okay that's a bit disappointing let's turn off like motion monitoring how much frames do we get without blur the same that's great to see what? What? He just left. Okay, what? Oh, wait. It's stuttering a little less. It's still stuttering. And, okay, so we are in. Wait, 400? Wait a minute. Wait, we're getting more now. Loading in, it's a little less stuttery. I'll give it that. Let's go to our same spot. Let's waddle over here. Are we seeing higher frames? Or am I stupid? Well, it actually helped, like, Roblox. It's less stuttery, and it's running way more smoother now. All right, we have optimized our settings, I guess. Obviously, we're probably going to get more frames. This is pretty much the same spot let's look up and we're getting the same frames are we capped or something what's going on yeah it is exactly the same so yeah the results on this one were very weird the fps was the same but there was less stuttering and loading times were literally the same so i'm not going to even include it now let's move on to a free optimization app hone and yeah once again this was quite a process so i'm just going to speed this up as well i kind of just turned like all the basic stuff on that you would usually turn on all right so i just restarted and this decided to drop by itself which is kind of annoying how much processes are we at wait we have less memory usage that's a good sign we barely gained anything did i do it right what did i do wrong what have i done wrong all right we're in the mind lobby and guys we might be getting a bit more frames wait i'm going to stand in the exact same spots that i've been standing we are now sitting at 800 frames and obviously the first rounds are always laggy so um let's see wait we're actually off hovering around a thousand frames in the first game 1.1 thousand wait what it's actually kind of made a difference i just hit my phone i swear it's higher oh that popped up faster on the screen than before okay oh we've loaded in w wow 
I mean, it's kind of crazy how fast this takes all the time. We are creating so many worlds. Let's see, how long is this going to take? This is mostly on like the CPU, so I don't know if it did any optimizations for that, but that was fast. H render distance and we are loading in. Oh, it's a bit stuttery. What? This is way smoother. What? I just got jump scared by myself. What? 650 frames. No way. Does Roblox like home? Oh, scrolling on the GUI is smoother already. All right, we've loaded in. Instantly jump up to like 100. Come on. <gasps> Yo, wait, we're hitting the limit. We just, I just saw the limit. Wait, we're hitting the limit of Roblox, which is 240 frames. What? We move around. No starter at all. Fortnite. All right, so we have landed on absolutely nothing with a house. Let's look up. 260. Not bad for a free app. So yeah, Hone actually did a very good job. There was definitely a boost in every single game that I tested, and the stutters were they're just eliminated. But overall, my computer still felt pretty sluggish. And now, time to talk about the next optimization tool. And that is today's sponsor. That's right, I got another sponsor. If you don't know what Swills does, it basically just optimizes your whole operating system. So let's see what Swills can do. My profile picture. Better be honest. I've also uninstalled Hone, as you guys can see, just so the Hone settings don't like conflict with Squills. Let's see our processes. So we are at 12% memory, which is about the same as the other one. And we are under 100 processes. Ooh. So I kid you not, we are getting even more frames. Wow. Who would have thought? Almost a thousand FPS. Let's go in the same spot over here. Yeah. 940 FPS. Let's see how the first game goes. Oh. Well, I, okay, I'm speechless already. 1.2 thousand. 1. 1.4 thousand for the first. What? Okay, I'm, I don't even know what to say. The FPS is just so much better. Is this guy hacking? He's taking no knockback. He just died. What? Okay. Wait, we're getting a thousand FPS in the lobby now. What did I do? Okay, well, 1.1 thousand frames in the lobby now. That's really cool. All right, let's do no motion blur. Yo, we might hit 2,000. What if we disable the scoreboard in the chat? Usually that boosts before. Yeah! 2,000 frames. Yo, we hit the 2,000 FPS mark. And it's consistent as well. Wow, that's kind of consistent. I think I'm thermal throttling. My CPU does overheat. I need to fix that. But your 2,000 while it's not overheating, that's insane. Like even starting Windows up, like clicking things, like not even just Minecraft, clicking things felt so much quicker to open and everything. Like it just feels like I got a brand new computer at this point. This laptop's like six years old. It's like brand new now. It has revived it. Look, we're not even like dropping over all the stuff I just did. And gone, wow. Time for a fancy three-way test. And Swills won. Who can make a world faster? Oh my god, Swills won again. Alright, so we are on the Minecraft world with Swills. And again, so I'm not lying. Default settings, everything. Fancy, whatever. Time for an FPS check. I actually did upgrade to 1.28.8. So if we just click this. Seven. Wait, I just saw 800. Boom. 800 FPS. Oh my god, guys. And moving around, I barely see stutters. Like, we are loading chunks in and it's well over 300. Okay, I saw a micro stutter. Let's see. And I think we're about to hit the cap already. Let's like waddle over to the middle. All right, we're in the center and we're hitting the cap. If I move around, oh my God, if I move around, what? It's not really like dipping that much as I thought it would. Uh, did it like reset Fortnite? It's like completely forgotten what just happened. And for some reason, our FPS is uncapped in the title screen. How the hell did it manage that? All right, I'm going to stand in the same spot. Let's see what, how much FPS we get if we look up. I'm already at 250. It's promising. Um, okay, we got the same. But the lows are way, 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 way better. Oh yeah, look, 270. There you go. You know, I'm going to force myself to play a, an actual match. I can't believe this. Yeah, so this took way longer than I expected. So uh, here's 20 minutes of footage sped up. And for the record, it was barely stuttering. It was very smooth and averaging around 180 frames, which is really good. So yeah, it's definitely optimized to Fortnite. Also, here's a victory royale. I somehow won. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Bro, alright, I'm never playing this game over again. How do I- Yeah, 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 whatever. Download Swills, give it a try. Like.